One of the best side projects you can create is a stack-based programming language. I know you just heard programming language and you think that it's going to be very difficult and it's going to take years and years of practice, tons of people. However, the key word is stack-based. Stack-based programming languages are a lot easier to implement, especially for hobbyist developers. So it's a very good choice for a great side project. We can start off by defining a small subset of instructions. Sure, our programming language won't be the most feature complete or be able to do the most tasks, but we'll at least have some fun implementing it and it's stay within a relatively manageable difficulty and time level. What these instructions do is quite self-explanatory. Their goal is to manipulate a stack. So we can push values, pop values, print values, and do other operations like arithmetic, duplication, and swapping. Let's create a little program and let's kind of interpret this in our head. Try to guess what the output of this program will be. If you guess 30, you're right. If you've taken a data structures class or anything similar, you're probably quite familiar with a stack and all these operations. Many programming languages implement this kind of data structure and often refer to functions with similar names. However, we have to actually take the source code, which is on the bottom, and make it so the computer understands what to do. What we're going to be writing is the interpreter, which I'll be going over in later parts of this series. I made this video so that you get an introduction on how the programming language will look and how it's supposed to function. Stay tuned for more videos in this series where I go over each parts of the interpreter, for example, the lexer, parser, code gen, IR, and execution of the actual source code. Don't let those terms scare you. I will go over everything. Follow me and make sure you're tuned in for the rest of this series so you can follow along and create a great side project.